What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, we're in the month of October. And, you know, with October comes our national holiday, as I call it, Halloween. So uh, if John's you guys... favorite. Oh, definitely. I love Halloween. <laughs> Halloween's great, guys. So, you know, our topic, you know, should be around that, I think. So Halloween and having fun. So this one plays pretty personal and pretty close to me and Sharice, right? Yeah. Because obviously it's one of my favorite holidays next to Christmas and uh, Thanksgiving because I love to eat. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I love Halloween and it's just awesome. And I think it could be good for couples and that's why I wanted to like bring this up because me and Sharice have a ball and always have had a good time during Halloween. Mm -hmm. Now this plays true in a couple different ways. One is a couple, two is a family, you know, so if you have kids and stuff like that, you get to share with their joy of getting to dress up and taking them trick or treat and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Or if it's just you as a couple, it's you guys kind of lowering inhibition a little bit, not being as serious and having fun, mm -hmm. right? And kind of dressing up or doing your own thing. So with me and Sharice, perfect example. Uh, you know, we've been together for 12 years, going on 13. And at that point, what we've done is, is every year we've dressed up. Yeah. Multiple times sometimes. Yeah. Some some <laughs> years it would be two times, three times, three I think, times. at maximum of, of some of the years. You know, that would be for different things like mm -hmm. Halloween parties, taking our son trick-or-treating. Um, so just different things, right? Mm -hmm. Or we had, you know, two. It just all depends. Now, Halloween, you know, the day that it falls really doesn't matter what you do too. Right. Because this year, Halloween falls on a Saturday. Oh, boy. And daylight savings. That means we get an extra hour of fun, right? <laughs> So, you know, I, we just want to bring up like some of the different things that we do um, that might help you guys. And this could help in a lot of different ways. So let's get into it. So me and Sharice dress up and we've changed outfits every year. Couples costume. We usually, yeah, we'll pick a costume that me and her both can wear. Now, not the exact same costume. There's usually a guy's and a girl's version. Right. Um, and if you don't know about costumes, you can literally go on to costumes. There's mm -hmm. a ton of stores out there online or even some in your local area. Um, and you usually find like girls and guys costumes that go together, whether it's superheroes or gag tricks or whatever it is. There's all different types of stuff. You guys can even make your own costumes or mm -hmm. make up what you're going to be. That's the beautiful thing about this. Um, creativity. It's, it's creativity. Yeah. You know, it's going back to think about when you were a kid um, and you were thinking about different things and being very creative. You know, as we get older, I think we get into that mindset, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. And it takes away some of the creativity and some of the freedom that we have. Mm -hmm. um, we get locked into the situation of who we need to be or what we need to do. And at that point, we really can't break out of that show anymore. Right. right? Like you're, you're too old to have a good time dressing up or going trick-or-treating with your son who yeah. I don't think wants to trick-or-treat with us anymore. Um, he's at that age where he's like, I'm going with my friends. I'm like, no, yeah. <laughs> please, no. Um, but, you know, he's got to grow up someday, I suppose. Um, but, you know, every year we do the whole couple's costume. We've actually done quite a few. Oh, yeah. Um, but we've had fun with it, you know. The only, you know, the only catch-22 to this whole thing is when you do order, especially right now, because, oh, you know, of COVID and all these other wonderful Ooh. things. Nobody's letting you come into a Halloween store and or a costume store, which I don't even on. think that there is one. There's a couple, yeah, like spirits still out there. But the they're not going to let you there. put it on, right? So now you have to guess if you're going to be a small, yes. a large, yes. a medium, an extra small. You know, you get it. I, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I got my suit the other day, and, you know, I thought for sure I'm going to fit in it because, you know, I, I, would, I would guess it would be stretchy. But, you know, it wasn't <laughs> as stretchy as I thought it was going to be. Right. So, you know, the zipper didn't come up too far, and I'm just like, okay, this is not going to work out so great. Um, John, on the other hand, you know, he's got – uh, um, oh, let's I, let's not I, say a couple. We're gonna just call it a plethora. I got a barrage of different 
um, costumes, same cost, same kind of costume, same character per se. I don't want to let you guys know what it is yet. Yeah, we'll don't have, give away all the goodies. We'll, we'll show some maybe next week or something like that, so you guys can see what we dressed up as. Yeah. But at that point, uh, I had to just order these different ones because most of these costumes come from China. <laughs> all right. So at that point, like. They're a little bit smaller. I don't know if you've ever ordered anything like that. I'm sure people have, whether it's a girl ordering a dress or a guy ordering a shirt or whatever it is, and it comes from China. And their sizes are like two sizes small, mm -hmm. and you really never know what you're going to get. Never know. You know? Never know. <laughs> I feel like Forrest Gump right there, <laughs> you know? Um, so at that point, like, you know, we had to order a couple. And then Halloween, you know, the way that COVID has happened this year. Mm -hmm. Um, shipping and everything coming from international has back all back orders. Back orders. I mean, it's it's been crazy. So <sighs> for us, usually it, it, it's never easy picking costumes. No, some, it has never been easy. Some years we're like, all right, but you know, usually we wait till the last minute. And that was a problem before, mm -hmm. like last you know two weeks before Halloween and stuff like that. There's been a couple of years where we've actually planned in advance and actually worked out. Yeah, in our favor for sure. Uh, but you know, at this point, like it lets us have fun. Like we'll go out. Like it's it's going to be a Saturday this year, and Tight Medical Center usually these last couple of years sponsors different events on Halloween, mm -hmm. and or Halloween weekend the way they usually have it. But this one is falling on Saturday, so it's really cool because we're gonna you know get to you know Peter's gonna go trick or treating with his friends because he's 11 years old and he doesn't want to be around mom and dad no more. Whatever, which is fine. It's really cool. It's not fine. Um, so we're going to go out later on and we're going to have this event. We're going to be at this little, this costume party, which is going to be a pretty big one. Yeah, I'm excited. For so it. if you're in the Tampa area or you guys want to come down, Vampire's Ball, because yep. 2020 just sucked. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the catchphrase of it. So, But it's going to be really cool. It's going to be at the Cuban Club in Tampa. So if you guys want to come down there, see the Titan Medical Center crew. Yeah. We're all going to be dressed up. And you don't know who is going to be who. Because yeah, you might have, have to go try to find John. We're going to have awesome costumes. But look for the Titan Strong mask because I am going to be wearing one out oh, there. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you know, it's it's a whole different atmosphere out there too. I know because of COVID and stuff like that. But hey, listen, most of the people have masks anyway, right? Mm -hmm. They should be like face sure. coverings. Should be kind of like the same thing. I, I guess. You yeah. Know? But we're gonna do the right thing. We'll be having them on, and um, at that point, you guys can come on and join us, and you guys can have fun together. So you guys can enjoy get in the character role. And this could happen even if you guys don't want to go out. You guys could dress up and do the character role maybe at home. So <laughs> or just it, leave on your costume and then do the character role at yeah, home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you guys can go out for a little bit. You know, yeah, There's plenty of different things. And I'm sure friends are going to have costume parties and stuff like that. Now, I'd hear the CDC guidelines in your state. I don't want to get you guys in trouble wherever you're at. But if you're in the state of Florida, I think you're pretty much good to go. Um, wherever you want to go and whatever you want to do pretty much at that point, you know. So we're going to be out. We're going to be doing that. And we want you guys to enjoy Halloween the exact same way that we do. You know, I always like to give the example story, right? So we're going to go back to it because I'll never forget this ever. And I'm, I'm, I wonder if he's looking at me and he knows what I'm going to say. But one year we decided to be um, Hulk and She-Hulk. Oh, my okay? God. Um, now, we did this actually, I believe he did it the following year, but we did not make the same mistake. No, it was a couple years later when I did this. <laughs> The so, first time, though. We went to, I think oh. it was like Walmart or Target or something, and we got this, you know, green paint. So we could put the green paint, and I mean, when we talk about the green paint is everywhere, everywhere, the face, arms, chest, yeah. everywhere, right? Yeah. Now, I, I remember this quite well. I was pregnant at the time, too, <laughs> which was fun. This is not fun. Um, and so we get home, you know, after, you know, we're having a, you know, a great time, you know, it was great, yeah. blah, blah. So now we got to get this stuff off, right? <laughs> now, this was interesting because it, it wouldn't come oh off. Oh, my God. I don't know what and when it did come off, was. John at that time had a little bit longer uh, hair. I had hair. Hair on my legs, <laughs> hair on my arms. And I literally was on my knees next Dude. to the bathtub. He was in the bathtub with the soap everywhere. And I'm taking this wash rag and I'm literally, this is me, like... I mean, it was serious scrubbing. I could I, like, I didn't oh even come God, off. This is terrible. <laughs> I didn't even come off. I don't like cleaning to begin with, much less to scrub off every piece of green. We got mo majority of majority it. Majority of it came off. It was off. a couple little spots. He looked like, you know, he might have had a small disease for a day or two with these little green spots. Trying but... to turn me into a leopard. <laughs> <laughs> but that was fun. I'll never yeah. forget it. But we still had a good time. Yeah. And you know, we support each other on getting that green off. It was, de it was definitely good. You know, the, the next time I did Hulk and we did green paint, I, I found out a good paint that stayed on and did not was not hard to come off. That came off pretty easy. So. That was funny. Yeah, it was definitely fun. It was definitely good. It's it's good times and you share experiences like that. It was funny. Talking about bonding experiences, yeah. thing you guys can look back at. 
I'm gonna show you guys some pictures of us. You know, you'll oh, see in here like of it. different photos of us, and I think the Hulk pictures are gonna be in it, here too yeah, as well. It's in there. Or if you haven't seen it already, um, at that point, you guys are going to see these different things and you know, the way we dress up. So hopefully, you guys will get into the spirit. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about: getting into the spirit of things. Whether you have kids or don't have kids, do it for yourself. You know, bring yourself back to hopefully some good childhood memories, or, mm -hmm. or just you know, being not so super serious all the time because mm -hmm. it's good to be serious, right? But there's times to relax, anti-stress, and have a good time with your family. <laughs> so you guys can find cool costumes, do cosplay, go to a party, have fun with the family, whatever it is. But make sure you guys are having fun. And that's what it's all about. All right. So this is just another tip and trick from me and Sharice to you guys. We hope you guys have a happy Halloween. And we'll see you next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner. I'll see you then. Bye, guys.